back to the subject at hand. Utensil oil number two. Oh, I really hate talking about the universal chemical understanding, but you know, that's just me. Now, when I heated this, I did it in the microwave instead of using an outdoor heater. Usually you're supposed to heat it to 840 Fahrenheit or about 622 Celsius or 1,266 Kelvin. That's for the purpose of boiling off any oxygen free compounds such as water or such as sodium chloride or such as anything else that have a boiling point of greater than 100. You do not want that mixed with this oil. Now this is just utensil oil so we're mad with use it for a vehicle or you want to use this cooking grease and you want your food to like freaking, you want your chicken to like beef and stuff. Yeah, you would do that. Now, as you see these, these there's these freaking okay, let's get on straight into chemical. As you see I heated it to about from the looks of it around 150 Fahrenheit. And the bubbles you see here is oxygen trying to flow out of the oil itself and the saturated chains are trying to break due to the boiling the heating, the melting point, or the boiling point of the material. I am really trying to explain this in a way where it's simple. Okay, boiling point, yeah, that's good. Yeah, boiling point is a point where something starts boiling. It can be any liquid, any liquid. Now there are substances, some substances on the planet that has different phases of matter, such as solid gold. Solid gold also have a boiling point even if it's in solid state. Now certain items will Break their bundings, both content. Break their bundings at an atom level, or is that a COVID bunny or I bunning? And since I bought this cooking grease that I use, I end up getting these bubbles, which is the saturated chain trying to break, which is the oxygen trying to get out, as well as the other substance that has that similar boiling point. Who knows? It could be the mixture of the HHCOHO. D E as well as H C C H O E D and H H H C O freaking um whatever the letters for um it's not protein it's a coal now my next step is to do another set of this again and keep going for a little bit and then this should drain it just a little bit more of any free substance and that has that boil point there, I want the oil out of it. Once I boil a certain amount of oil out of it, I am going to filter it in here and this will be the next video.